Hello and welcome back to my channel. Finally, I am going to be bringing you my Vera Bradley annual sale haul. This is the annual sale in person in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They hadn't had it the past several years due to COVID, but they did bring it back this year um, in June. And so I made the drive over to Fort Wayne and did the sale and got a few goodies. I know this video is super late. I should have done this months ago, but I'm just finally getting around to it. I'm going to go ahead and talk about my experience a little bit. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I actually have photos from my time in Fort Wayne. And so as I'm talking about it, I'm going to try to, if I'm tech savvy enough, I'll, I'll stick some photos here on the screen that you could take a look at. And I'll also, if I, I think I also took, I didn't necessarily take a ton of footage or maybe any footage actually in the, the room where the sale was happening because if you all know me I'm kind of anti not anti-social but what's the word I'm looking for introverted and so I was a little bit nervous to take plus I was looking for stuff and it was extremely busy in there so I didn't want to like spend my whole time taking footage because I was actively looking and there are people just like all over the place which is overstimulating for me so I apologize I don't really have any video of like actually in the sale but I did take some video of I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll do cut scenes or I'll put it at the very end because I also did I believe it's been a while now but I think I actually filmed clips of the bags that I brought with me that like had my clothes and toiletries and stuff so if I can remember to do that, I'll put them somewhere in the video. Maybe I'll put them right here. Hey guys, I am staying at the Bradley Hotel in Fort Wayne, Indiana for Bureau Bradley's annual outlet sale of 2023. I'm super excited to be here. I decided to make the trip. I don't live too terribly far away from Fort Wayne, so it was a nice little road trip. And so I am going to only be here for one night and I signed up for one session early in the morning tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to get any video or pictures because this is my first experience at one of these sales. And so I don't know how busy it is. I do have a few things in mind that I want to look for. So I'm going to try to prioritize that. But if I do get any um, video or photo of the sale, I will be sure to put it in this video, but I'm just kind of doing this vlog style that I can upload to my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to walk you around the hotel room and show you how cute it is. And then I'm going to show you the bags that I took with me. Bonus, also a bag that is exclusive to the Bradley Hotel, made by Vera Bradley right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So let's get started. Alrighty, so we are walking around the hotel here this is the bathroom this is my grand cosmetic given to me by my lovely friend nicole hey nicole if you're watching this is the bag that i carry all of my toiletries and as well as like makeup and hair care products i do have some of the products that i use um sitting out here i already brushed my teeth and flossed but i have yet to do my face wash um and then the hair products is for tomorrow I also brought with me a cap in case my hair is fine in, in the morning and I don't want to wash it. Curly hair lifestyle, you all probably know. Got this beautiful blue tile and then this lovely blue and white patterned carpet. And then you've got this giant mirror here. And then we've got this area for clothing. And here is one wall. Here is the bed. I love the design on the headboard here, super pretty. And of course my eyes lit up when I saw this iCat Island, I think, <laughs> pillow. So cute, very soft and plush. Here's the blanket. And then I just have HGTV on <laughs> randomly here. And we've got this neat little reading nook over here. Here are the curtains. Here is the other side of the room. 
and just to give you kind of an angle from the back corner of the room this is what we're looking at here and let's go ahead and jump into the bags so this is the purse everyday purse that I decided to bring with me you all probably have seen this purse several times I apologize for this the shaky camera I am doing this one-handed normally don't film this way but this is kind of how it's working I'm also filming on my phone this is the Vera Bradley VBU crossbody in Petite Garden. It's that beautiful navy background with florals and snails. One of my favorite patterns. If you watch any of my videos, I talk too much about this pattern because I love it so much. Um, and I also love this bag so much. It's super functional. And when I posted this to my Instagram the other day, I got a couple questions about the capacity of this bag it fits a lot and you're gonna see that here in a second so in this front pocket I'm gonna turn the camera away for a second but I typically would put my keys in here but I did valet park my car so I don't have them on me right now but I do have a sharpie pen in there and my keys would also go in there as well and then if we lift lift this flap up there is a magnet here and here, and they're both hidden, which I love. And I actually kept this pocket empty because this is going to be my bag that I'm going to take into the Coliseum with me for the event. And I thought this would be a secure place for my phone. But I also left the back pocket open because this is a good, super quick access pocket for my phone. So usually if I'm just around in the town that I live in, shopping and stuff, or running errands, this is where I'll just put my phone because it doesn't, it never slips out. But I thought in a place that's large and has a lot of people, this would just be a nice extra security step to have it underneath the flap just in case. I decided to put my hand sanitizer on the outside here. It does fit on the inside, but I want it to be super quick access um, again, because I'm going to be around a lot of people tomorrow, and I want to be able to get to my hand sanitizer as quick as possible without having to dig through my bag to get it. And then here is the main compartment, and there's a ton of capacity in this pocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take stuff out here. Uh, I think I do have my ID showing, so I'm not going to show the front side. But this is the wallet that I decided to bring with me. This is the Vera Bradley Disney Zip ID from one of the most recent collaborations. It's got that beautiful teal with um, the embroidered Mickey and Minnie. I don't remember the name of this. If I do, I will try to put it on the screen here, um, what the name of this pattern is. And then right behind that, I have the Lug Drizzle pouch and Aloha Navy. I love this thing. Um, let's see if I can get it open one-handed without shaking this camera too much because lug zippers are pretty darn amazing so it's not too hard um, I've got a pepper spray in there I got paper soap deodorant um, a little vapo inhaler and some wet wipes and there's also some Pepto-Bismol I think yeah those little pink tablets are Pepto-Bismol that's what's in the drizzle next to the drizzle is the bobsled also by lug And let's see if I can take this guy over here and just show you what's inside. So these are my um, Advil allergy pills. Got nail clippers, nail file scissors, headache medicines, several headache medicines because I get migraines a lot. Some of them are prescription, some of them are just over the counter. Um, and then I have... Um, gum and my earbud or my earplugs rather and just a few other bits and bobs like bobby pins then I have this little sports sack coin purse and all I have in here is band-aids and then I have um my other like flat medication in here I also have my um rosewood glasses case my sunglasses are in there I have a mask folded in there, my AirPods, 
a full pack of tissues. My soon to be let's get techie and this has my charging cords inside. I also have a coupon for the good market. I'm just going to take this out too. Uh, lotion. And then this is um, the medication that I'll need to take first thing in the morning. So I gotta get up super early, so I thought I'd just put that in my purse. And that way I don't forget, because I will have to check out early in the morning. And I didn't want to like pack my luggage away and then not have my medicine right on me. Um, so this is a hair tie and chapstick. And that's the main interior, but it's not all, because there's more in this back zipper pocket. We've got another wet wipe, a mini notebook, um, a hair pick, and some feminine products. So this super small bag fit all of this stuff. Just take a good look at all that. Fits a ton, including my phone, which again, I'm filming with so I can't show. But yeah, that's what is in my everyday bag. The next bag is my backpack. This is the Vera Bradley Campus backpack in the Grogu print, Mandalorian print. In this front pocket, I have a couple of granola bars. I did empty this out some. For example, the cosmetic bag that you just saw in the, one of the last clips, I put in the main compartment. And then in this zip compartment, I have some masks in the slug stash. And peacock multi. I also have this photo book in Lavender Meadow with pictures of my dogs. And I have the Chuchu B Sakura at Dusk coin purse with band-aids and Neosporin. In this pocket, I have an extra hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh, it's on this little cute little um bag charm. And then I have some pens in this Vera Bradley pen case. I have my Apple Mouse in this other pocket. There's nothing in this pocket. And nothing in these pockets, I don't think. I think that is all in there. And then again, in the main interior, what I had was my cosmetic bag. My grand cosmetic fit in here. And then in this pocket, I have note, um, notepad and my password book for work. And then my lovely friend Nicole gifted me this awesome lug... Oh gosh, what are these called? I just I just said the name of this earlier and I can't remember now. Not Peekaboo. I don't remember the name. I'll put the name up here somewhere. Um, in Flamingo Black, they're the little packable bags. So love that so much. Thanks, Nicole. And then here in the laptop sleeve, I have a ton of stuff. Let's see if I can actually open this. I have my work notebook and it's actually in a fun print. I have it in the Forbidden Forest. And then I have my iPad. I have my um, hotel itinerary and this Foxwood cream. I don't really know if that's the name of this, but that's a Vera Bradley print. And then I have my work laptop. Um, not working on this leisure trip, at least I'm not supposed to be, but I do have to go through email at some point and I have that with me. Okay, that is it for the campus backpack. Let's go to the next bag. Next bag is my clothing bag. This is the Vera Bradley Compact Weekender in Fox Forest. One of my all-time favorite prints. In this pocket, I have my business card holder. In this double zip front pocket, I have a makeup cloth. My mini choo-choo by Lug in Azalea Pink. And that's got my, like, my full medication. I showed you the other pill case I have in my purse with just tomorrow's meds. This is the full week. And then here is, um, oh, what's this called? This is the Vera Bradley medium pouch from the pencil pouch trio. It is retired and this is the pattern chore thing. And I have paper towels in here because I recently, well, not recently, about uh, over a month ago, maybe almost two months ago now, I got an ear piercing and um, it recommends that I clean it with, or dry it rather, with paper towels um, after I clean it. So I brought my own paper towels with me. You do have a side pocket here. Let's 
see if I can do this one-handed. Um, I have a lint roller, mini lint roller, and then cotton nail wipes, and then um, the little sample body lotion from the hotel. You get two grab handles, which is really nice with this bag. And a double zipper opening. And here's what the inside looks like. You can get a ton in here for being a compact weekender. I have like my La Sport Sac cosmetic. I don't know the name of this print or the name of the cosmetic. But this is just my everything bag. I have feminine products, tape measure, sunscreen, two different kinds of lotion, more hand sanitizer, a new chapstick, a brand new pack of tissues, more cotton nail wipes, a, uh, an almost empty pack of tissues. I have a travel fork and spoon, gum. Uh, that's about it in that one. And then this one just has like floss picks and things like that inside. Then of course I have my cord organizer by Vera and one of the Harry Potter prints. And it's just got every cord I could possibly need in a lifetime, probably. <laughs> so my laptop, my phone, my iPad, battery packs, you name it. It's got everything. And then um, I have pajamas on this side and tomorrow's outfit on that side. Because again, I'm only doing one overnight. So the compact weekender was perfect for pajamas and perfect for the next day's clothes. Also have a little slip pocket here. And in here I have ginger chews for nausea. And I drove, so I not like I flew and got nauseous, but you just never know. You're not feeling well. It's good to have some um, ginger chews for nausea. And then there's nothing in this slip pocket. Actually, I did bring my satin pillowcase. This is my travel version. Is that a dog? Yes, that's my dog's hair on there. I didn't bring my actual pillow with me. I usually, sometimes I do. Um, but I decided just to bring a satin pillowcase because... That way I kind of preserve my hair. Yeah, I have curly hair and that helps. That was in there, that pocket. And then in this one I have like my master pill case. It's got like Advil, Tylenol, allergy pills. You never know if you need it or someone around you need it, needs it. On the opposite side, nothing in this slip pocket. And this one, yes, I have more medications. I promise I don't take that many medications. I probably take at least two daily medications and then there's other like one-off medications that I take as on a needed basis so yes I have a lot I know and then you know again these are just like just in case medications in here of course then on the back you have a trolley sleeve I didn't bring a ro rolling luggage but that's always nice to have and then these two smaller slip pockets which don't have anything in it so this compact weekender is a slam dunk absolutely love it. Last but certainly not least, I didn't take this bag with me. I actually purchased it here at the Bradley. This is the exclusive small Vera tote in the print called the Bradley. I believe that's the print name. Let's take a look here and get the tag out. Um, so that's what it says the name is, Bradley small tote, the Bradley. And they had so many totes to choose from and the I'm trying to get it to balance so I could show you the pattern placement here the lady at the front desk was so nice we actually went up to her and asked if we could see more pattern placement options for a couple of the different bags they had including this one and if I can if I remember I'll try to get some footage of the displays that they had in the hotel lobby and include that um, but if not, this is the tote that I bought. This is the small Vera. And this is one that they had on the display. And it was, at least in my mind, I know pattern placement um, preference is, you know, it just depends on what you like. This is what I liked the most because it had the skyline. It had the big pink rose. And then it had really good bird placement on the front here. Um, so that's why I ended up going with this pattern placement over the others. And yes, absolutely love it. I did just throw some extra stuff in it just to give it some body. So this is stuff that was in other bags. So this is my packable raincoat. Um, this is my the jewelry that I brought with me. This goes in one of the love jewelry pouches. And then this is the current book that I'm reading, Daisy Jones and the Six. So I just threw a few random things in here. 
travel silverware. Um, but here's the interior print, which is gorgeous. And then here is the back of the bag. Again, great pattern placement. I couldn't beat that pattern placement, so yeah. Let's go take a look at what this looks like in the mirror. It's what the small tote looks like on me. It's so cute. There's kind of a side view. So yeah, thanks for touring my hotel room with me and checking out the bags I brought with me slash the bag that I bought here at the hotel. It was a great experience. I had a really great time. I actually met my friend Nicole there. Hi, Nicole, if you're watching. And it was just, it was a wonderful time. I got to hang out with her and her mom and we got to do, uh, was it the first day of the sale? I think it was the first day. And I, I just did one day and the one time slot in the morning. And then I, I went back home because I couldn't, at the time I couldn't take off any extra days for work so it just kind of worked out just to do the one day for me and one day and then one overnight so that it was great it was it was enough for me because again as exciting as it was to see all the Vera in one place it's, it's a very overstimulating thing because it's this giant warehouse convention it's a convent I think it's like kind of like a convention center so to speak and it's just a giant room full of Vera so that's great but it's also a giant room full of people <laughs> so it could be overwhelming as you may imagine or if you were there then you know speaking of that I actually got stopped I think four or five times by some of you who stopped me and said hey I watch your videos on YouTube and a couple people even asked to take a selfie with me so if you're watching this uh, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram VB Peachy and send me send me those pictures because it was it was great meeting you and um, it, it was just really cool so thanks for for stopping me and saying hi so that was nice overall it was a it was a great experience oh this is what i wanted to say i stayed at the bradley which is the vera bradley themed hotel i think and it was great the room was great the bed was comfortable i i think i took pictures in there as well so i'll pop a couple pictures on the screen if i haven't already and then, as some of you may know, if you stay at the hotel, there's actually a exclusive print, Vera Bradley print, that is sold at the hotel. And I did, dang it, I forgot to bring it with me. I got the small Vera tote. I, it's funny because I actually brought my receipt from the sale and I was gathering everything up that I bought actually in the annual sale, making sure I wasn't forgetting anything. And I'm like, yeah, I got everything. I didn't forget anything. And obviously I didn't get that tote at the sale. I got it at the hotel. I forgot to bring it with me. So that's going to have to be a separate video. But I do know I have a picture of it for sure. So if I haven't already, I'll pop the picture of that on the screen. And I also took a really quick video of the, one of the display cases. That that had this print in it I don't even remember what it's called it might just be called the Bradley print or something but it's got like a blue background with some birds on it and some big florals and it's very it's very vintage inspired and, and very pretty let's go ahead and jump into the haul so I have my receipt here and I have everything except for one item so I'll go ahead and get that item out of the way because I actually gave it away to a friend and that item i'll put a just a general picture you know stock photo of it on the screen is the carson cell phone crossbody and itsy ditsy i ended up gifting that to one of my friends who loves vera bradley and uses vera bradley if not as much as me more than i do i know she loves it a lot and so i, I gifted that to her so that is the only item from the annual sale haul that i don't have because i i gifted it but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And we're actually gonna get started with the bigger items because one of the bigger items has all of the medium and smaller things inside. I picked up the, and I apologize, obviously I'm in the car, so it's a little bit of a tight, tight space for these big things, but this is the Reactive Grand Backpack in Belle Paisley. If you watch my channel, you know that I absolutely love this backpack. Right next to the campus, this is my favorite 
large travel backpack size from Vera Bradley. It's water resistant. It's got lots of pockets. It's super comfortable. It's got a robust trolley uh, sleeve on the back. The straps are great. The water bottle sleeves are great. It's just an all around super durable pack. And I have this insane obsession with French Paisley. And so again, I bought this stuff back in June and this kind of reignited my excitement for French Paisley. This is the reactive version of the pattern. So it's a lot more simplified than, than French Paisley is. And I just, I love it. So you're going to see a clear theme with the items that I got because like most of my items are purple. And when I was checking out at the annual sale, the I think it was so there was a person like that sorted through everything and then there's like the cashier and the person who was like sorting through my thing she said well there's an obvious theme here you really like the color purple <laughs> just to get you in close to this beautiful pattern you could see some of the birds featured here it's a deep purple background and I don't know if you could see but there's obviously that like water resistant almost parachute material kind of shining there which is it, it's just great I, I love this style so much and to see it in the French Paisley sister pattern or Belle Paisley pattern that's related to French Paisley it was just so exciting so it's hard to kind of show you this part because I'll have to bend it a little bit because it's tall in the car but yeah there's that and yeah just a great style so I, I do have videos on the style but I'll just kind of show you real quick um, there is a zipper pocket on the front and it does come with this like very light pink purple liner that just has the VB stitching and then you have this giant drawbridge pocket. It does have the double zipper pulls and they are like the metal zippers that say Vera and I love this pocket and I obviously haven't used this actually a good chunk of the items that I got I haven't used yet. Um, so this is kind of like the office pocket. It's got all this organization, zipper pocket. It also has an ID window. The main compartment also has the double zippers. It goes down to the water bottle pocket. It also has a carabiner on the side here. And it's got like a little lightweight sleeve in here. And there's that nice light liner. And then we've got a nice robust laptop sleeve and it's super padded on both sides great bag so yeah I was super super excited to find this and since I have the receipt with me I'll just I'll, I can tell you what I paid for it I don't mind because overall for everything that I got I paid $235.51 this bag alone retails for $115 and I paid $30.98 for this so that is the Reactive Grand Backpack in Bell Paisley. Next thing that we have is <laughs> the Weekender in French Paisley. Since I have this, I still have the tag on this as well. So this, again, I paid $235.51 for everything I'm about to show you in this video. This alone retails for $120. I paid $32.33 for this. So I'll get you another full shot here. And I love the Weekenders. I use these a lot for car travel specifically, but it's they're also carry-on compliant. There is a pocket here and a pocket here, and then we've got a trolley sleeve here. We have a slip pocket on this side and two rolled grab handles. There is no pocket on this side, but there is a front zip. Also still have the tags on this guy. And inside of this pocket, it's going to be a little hard to see, but there is actually a slip pocket down here for tech. And then we've got this double zipper pocket behind that. And this, I don't think, has any organization in it. It's just a big pocket. And then again, like I said, all of my other purchases are in here. So um, let's see. So we got a double zipper opening for the main interior. And then that's, that's what... That's what the inside looks like. I think there is, let's see, there's two large mesh pockets on the front wall and then three smaller ones on the back wall. So that's basically the Weekender. So keeping with the purple theme and the French Paisley theme, I picked up the laptop organizer. So this retails for $50. 
and I paid $13.47 for it. There is a zipper pocket on the front here and that's kind of like an office pocket. It's got a ton of organization in there. I think this is still a current style by the way th that Vera makes. And then we've got this pleather lined grab handle at the top and then we've got the main compartment behind that where your laptop or your tech will go. And you can see that beautiful interior there. So I was super excited to see this. There was only two of them and I grabbed one and I saw another girl uh, grab her shortly after I did. I've been wanting the small backpack in Forbidden Forest since it came out and it sold out quickly. And then on third party sites, people were no lie asking $250 plus for this style. And that's way too expensive. I have used this actually. Uh, quite a few times since June. I did post it on my Instagram recently, but I've been using it even when I first got it and I just haven't really posted it a lot. So yeah, small backpack in the Harry Potter pattern Forbidden Forest. It retails for $95 and I paid $42.65. So these I think were only half off. So they weren't as um, on sale as like the regular Vera stuff because um, this was like a collab but there were so many small backpacks to choose from I actually had two in my bag and I was walking around with both of them trying to figure out which pattern placement I like best and thank you Nicole she helped me pick this pattern placement we've got a good castle on the front we've got Hedwig we've got these beautiful trees that add color which I remember is what Nicole pointed out that was unique about this one versus the other one I was trying to decide between and that kind of sold me because I love all the color from the trees and we've got another full castle and another version of Hedwig here I love Hedwig on the pocket and then we even have a good back um, with Hedwig on the strap we've got the hippo uh, buck beak and we've got a good um, serious yeah great pattern placement here that is the small backpack another forbidden forest or the other rather i item that i got is another bag that i've been wanting in this pattern so with this one i i saw a good buck beak right on the front a good head wig i liked the whomping willow here and also another selling point for me was serious on the pocket there and the trees that add really nice color and this is technically the back, but could be the front. So there's that. And people were really looking at these bags in particular. I was, of course, one of my goals, I really wanted a castle right in the middle. And I actually saw a girl with her friends. She found one. She's like, guys, I found one. I found one with a castle in the middle. And um, yeah, I was like, oh, that's a nice one. And there are lots of these to choose from, but you know, I, I just, to me, it was more important to kind of get out of the way. And this one was, it was already a great pattern placement to me. So this is the multi-strap shoulder bag. I have not used this yet. This is not the right tag. This is, this is Dreamer Paisley. I don't know why. I don't know why that's on there. Okay. Well, I have the price on here. Maybe I have used this because it doesn't have the tags on it anymore. Uh, so this is the multi-strap shoulder bag, Forbidden Forest. It retails for $110. I paid $49.39 for it. And so the Forbidden Forest items, as you could probably tell, are the most expensive because they're only half off, whereas everything else was like 70, 80% off. So there's that. This is the Zip ID in the Mandalorian pattern holiday Grogu they had a ton of these they didn't have a ton of Mandalorian stuff in general I think they just had this and maybe that was it and it's super soft I actually have the Mandalorian zip ID that's in this print here and I love it I've used that so many times so I decided to pick this one up it retails for 25 and I paid $11.23 so just super cute little zip ID and then I couldn't leave this behind. There were hundreds of these. This is the Clip and Zip Mini Pouch and Scotty Dog. Retails for 20, 28 and I paid $5.03 for it. And this has been in active use since I got it in June and I usually use it to hold my headphones. 
So we've got this nice little appliqued soft Scotty dog on there. This was like a Christmas release, I think. So you got all these like little sparkles and the um, little tree branch or um, whatever that's called. And he's got the little bow. I'm not a, a plaid person usually, especially not these colors, but I just got it for the applique Scotty dog. I did, whoops. I did cut off the little um, wristlet strap because I'm, I'm only gonna use this as a pouch. I'll never use it as a wristlet. And then you've got two pockets on the inside, like card slots. So super cute. And then here is the other Carson cell phone crossbody that I got that I decided to keep because I love Hummingbird Park. So yeah, the, I've already used this several times this summer. So this is a Carson cell phone crossbody, Hummingbird Park. I was so excited to see this. Um, this retails for 30 and I paid $8.08 for it. There's no Hummingbird placement. I, I looked over it closely when I got home, but there was the only one there. It was the only Carson cell phone crossbody in Hummingbird Park that I saw, so I grabbed it. And I love this flower anyways. So I got that on the front. And I also love this trio of flowers here. So yeah, love this. So this item, Nicole actually found herself and decided to let me buy it for myself. And this is a prototype. So this is the 1982 mini backpack in rain garden gray. It retails for $70, even though it was never sold anywhere. And I paid $18.86 for it. You all might recognize the 1982 line. It was like a Target exclusive line of larger backpacks. It, the backpacks weren't as large as like the campus. They were like a little smaller, but this is like actually a purse sized version of that line. And so you've got a front pocket here. You've got that big 1982 Vera logo. It actually does have side pockets on both sides and it's got these top grab handles. And then we've got this interior with the two mesh slip pockets. And then the straps are interesting because it's got a single loop at the top and then it's got the hardware attached at the bottom. This is the last thing I have that I actually didn't buy. It did come from the annual sale and Nicole gifted it to me. And that is a custom. It is the small backpack in, it, we've got the pink, I don't remember what this was called. And then we've got foxwood blue and then foxwood menagerie blue. I don't remember what this retailed for, it probably retailed for like 80 or 90. And I think Nicole paid, it, it had to be under $20 for it. So yep, she gifted this to me. I absolutely love it. So we've got the, you know, pink pocket with the foxwood menagerie on the inside. We've got the pink accents, zippers, and handle. There's Foxwood Menagerie, and it's also on the straps. So very, very cute. I love it. Thank you, Nicole. So that was great. And just as a quick comparison, just so you can see, this is the same size as the small backpack. Great deals at the sale. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. It was long awaited. Thank you for your patience. I know I've been promising it four months now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.